Um, hello everyone, it's Stella Creasy here. I'm sorry that I can't be with you today. I'm afraid here in Parliament or Hogwarts gone wrong as I like to call it. We have a, a number of votes this afternoon which mean that I'm stuck in this building rather than to be able to be with you. Uh, so I'm ending up giving this rather sort of Oscar speech uh, from a distance. Um, although I haven't won an award, I would like to say thank you. And I'd like to say thank you to Involve and all the people that I worked with because you really, really inspired me. And thinking about the fact that Involve has been around for 10 years now gives me a lot of hope. I learnt firsthand from people like Richard and Edward and Alice and Karin and Laurie and Dom uh, in those heady days when we were stuck in that building at the Environment Council, stealing um, bagels from, from Sainsbury's downstairs and arguing about the state of the world. Hope. Hope that actually if we could find better ways to work together, we really could change the world. Now that I'm an MP, the things that I learn to involve inspire me every single day about the importance of purpose, about how you get people to work together, that there are many different ways in which people could work together. And for me, the things that involve stood for then and the things that you're still working on now are absolutely central to this question about the kind of society we want to create and the kind of future that, that we need to have as a, as a nation, that actually it's not just about power, it is about participation. Every single day here in Parliament, we have debates and discussions about issues that I know 650 people alone cannot resolve. So the challenge for all of us isn't just to find the right answer, but find the right way of working together. That for me is the future of democracy. The future of democracy has to change because the world is changing. That places like Involve are thinking about the ways in which you can change is the place where I would start. And I'm really not just saying that because I'm not in a room with you, so I don't have to be nice to you, as Richard will remember. Um, the inspiration that I also got from Involve was the passion that people brought to that process. Because one of the things that we always learned and talked about firsthand was how long it could take for change to happen, that it wasn't just about being in the room, it was also about the culture that you created and the responsibility that you gave people. Again, every single day I sit here in Parliament, I reflect on those lessons, on those ways of working, that yes, we used to debate, disagree and argue, but we also used to try and find ways of building a culture which recognised that everybody could make a contribution. I'm afraid Parliament is a long way off at having that culture, but that seems to me an important principle too, that it's not just about finding new processes, but also finding a different attitude and a different approach to how people work together. Being able to hear, being able to listen, not being apolitical, being very political about having different views and different ideas, but finding ways in which all of those can be given an airing and so that people feel that they can contribute. I'm very excited about the next 10 years of democracy, not being involved in national politics we're standing, because I know there is a challenge. I know that people don't see the point of what we do here, but I'm very excited because I see that passion and I see that commitment in people across the country. And that means that we've got all the right tools and all the right foundations for a better society. It's up to us to try and find a better way of working together. Now that can't be done alone from Parliament, it can't even be done alone with the greatest one in the world from organisations like Involve coming up with fantastic ideas, but it can be done when people work together. Now I'd love that to start with a game of Cub and I will always remember playing Cub with people from Involve and I hope we might get a chance to do that one time again. But I think it is also about the ideas and the voice that we give to them. And certainly one of the things that I feel passionately that all of us as politicians can do as we recognise that that world is changing and the challenges that we face and the ways in which we work together have to change too, is to be advocates for working in different ways. Because working in different ways can be scary, it can be frightening to people to try and find new ways of collaborating, not just of giving power away, but actually truly participating in making things different. One of the things that I try to do in my local community and here in Parliament, and, and lots of other MPs do as well, is to be open to those new ideas of ways of working. But we need those new ideas. So the thing for me that's really important for the next 10 years as well is that we have even more organisations like Involve coming up with different ways of working, championing participation, championing keeping going, because it is difficult sometimes to find compromise, because it is difficult sometimes to make progress. But everything I learned to involve and everything I've learned through being a politician since is that actually when you do, it's amazing. So I say, I'm sorry I can't be with you today. I wish I could have heard the conversation because I know it would be inspiring and energetic. Um, I want to give my personal love to people like Edward and Richard and Diane as well and Laurie and Karen if they're there. Um, I'm still eating pink wafer biscuits. I'm still arguing about the state of the world and I'm still terrible at cub. But maybe one day we'll all get together again and have another go. And good luck in the future.